The word yoga is derived from Sanskrit and ancient Indian language. It means the union of body and mind. Yoga began in India more than 3,000 years ago and is still practiced for the health of your mind, body and soul. A morning practice of yoga is a great way to get energized for the rest of the day. Embarking on the path of yoga is your first step towards self-discovery. It's going to be a fulfilling and a liberating experience. Once you take the step, it will reap rewards for a lifetime. In other words, you're doing yoga to achieve stillness and clarity of mind. Now let's look at some of the common problems and see how yoga can help us overcome these problems. One of the common health disorders that people suffer, especially women, is thyroid. The asana which is beneficial to cure thyroid is called Ushtrasana. It not just cures thyroid, it also lends flexibility to the spine and strengthens the calf muscles. Sit in Dandasana. Now fold your legs and sit on your heels. Keep the thighs close and the big toes touching. Place the hand on the knees. Your head should be back and straight. Stand on your knees and place the hands on the waist with your fingers pointing downwards. Bend the head back and stretch the neck muscles. Inhale and bend the trunk towards as much as possible. If you can't reach the heels, you can place your hands on them and bend backwards. Remain in this posture for 10 to 30 seconds with normal breathing. Return with inhalation, sit in Vajrasana and relax. Diabetes is another common disease in men, women and even children. Bakrasana or the spinal twist pose is beneficial in stimulating the pancreas and helps in the management of diabetes. Sit in Dandasana. Bend the right leg and place the right foot beside the left knee. As you exhale, twist the body to the right. Bring the left arm around the right knee and clasp the right leg and place the palm beside the right foot. Remain in this posture for 10 to 30 seconds with normal breathing and relax. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Depression and anxiety is caused from the stress of working for long hours, lack of sleep and irregular food habits. Setu Bandhasana helps relieve depression and anxiety. Bend both the legs at the knees and bring the heels near the buttocks. Hold both the ankles firmly and keep the knees and feet in one straight line. Inhale slowly and raise your buttocks and trunk as much as you can to form a bridge. Remain in this position for 10 to 30 seconds with normal breathing. Exhale slowly and return to the original position and relax. Untimely meals and quick access to junk food leads to wind or flatulence. Pavana Muktasana helps remove constipation and gives relief from gas, decreases the bloating sensation in the abdomen and also aids digestion. Lie down flat on the back. Bend your right knee Interlock the fingers and clasp the shin below the knees. Exhale, rise the head till your chin touches the knees and relax. This is Pavana Muktasana. Bring the head back to the ground while exhaling, lower the leg to the feet. Repeat the same with the other leg. In the final position, raise both your legs, bend your knees, clasp your fingers, exhale and bring your nose to your knee and hold this position for 10 to 30 seconds. Inhale, push your head back, release your legs and relax. Do you often suffer from cold, sinusitis, asthma and bronchitis infections? 
Kapal Bhati purifies the frontal air sinus and helps to overcome cold disorders. It also rejuvenates the whole body and keeps the face young and vibrant. Sit in any meditative posture. Close the eyes and relax the whole body. Inhale deeply through both nostrils and expand the chest. Expel the breath with forceful contractions of the abdominal muscles. Complete 30 rapid breaths, then take a deep breath and exhale slowly and relax. Repeat two more rounds. Nadi Shodhana or Anuloma Vyoma Pranayam is, is practiced right after Kapal Bharti. It helps your body rejuvenate and pumps oxygen. The right hand should be in Nasika Mudra. Keep the left palm in Jnana Mudra. Breathe in from the left nostril, then close the left nostril with the small and ring fingers and release the thumb from the right nostril. Exhale through the right nostril. Next, inhale through the right nostril. At the end of inhalation, close the right nostril, open the left nostril and exhale through it. Repeat 5 rounds. A shapely and supple body is important for one's well-being. Trikon Asana is beneficial to help strengthen calf, thigh and waist muscles. It also makes the spine flexible and improves lung capacity. Stand with your feet comfortably apart. Slowly raise both the arms sideways till they are horizontal. Exhale, slowly bend to the right side and place the right hand just behind the right foot. The left arm is straight up in line with the right arm. Turn the left palm forward. Remain in this posture for 10 to 30 seconds with normal breathing. Repeat the same for the left side. Doing yoga is therapeutic but at the same time you must remember that it is not a competition and you have to closely listen to your body and act accordingly. Regular practice will make you more confident, your body more supple, your mind more focused to practice advanced asanas. Patience is a virtue especially in the practice of yoga. The one hour that you will commit in the practice of yoga is not just going to give you a healthy body but also a healthy mind. Yoga will pave your way to a balanced approach in life and break you free from all physical pain. Wishing you all a very happy International World Yoga Day. Keep practicing and stay healthy.